it's just how it's just how your life changes instantly. You know, your goals, all of the goals that you had previously go away. You know, you no longer have these long-term goals. <laughs> I think it's a greater disaster that I wasn't able to be there for my family, that I wasn't able to, you know, fulfill my responsibility and my commitments to my family than that my life is cut short. Because, you know, really, I've had 48 good years. I have had a good life. There's nothing to be done with respect to this disease. There's no now what? There's no chemotherapy. There's no now we can do this, now we can do that. Let's move on in this direction. We've got this option, we've got this option. There are no options. Uh, leaving work was very difficult. Giving up my driver's license was really difficult. And leaving the company that had been so supportive for me for all those years. But I, I think it mostly had to do with the fact that this was another another um, stepping stone on the path to, you know, the ultimate result of this illness. I, I just, just all the difficulties that it presents for a family around the person. And this has nothing to do with us, but there's a lot of people out there that have, much, that have serious challenges as a result of ALS. And it can really pull apart a family. It can pull apart a family for financial reasons. It can pull apart a family for emotional reasons. Um, it's ended marriages. ALS is just, a, just as much about the people around that person and all the different, all the work that they have to do, all the emotional stress that they get under, all the financial stress that they get under. It's a, it's a group battle between families, friends, and, and anybody who's sort of in that support cycle. It's not just about the person getting sick. You know, when it comes to helping people with ALS, don't forget to help out the people that support that person that's sick. Yeah, that would be the one thing, is, uh, is it's not just about the horror of ALS itself. It's about all the difficulties and emotional stress that the people around them go through too. Sometimes it's just about showing up and taking somebody up for a coffee, you know?